Hey guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial we're going to be working in Revit MEP or to be more precise I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple mechanical system using some system components in Revit. Now as architects we really don't know much about these mechanical system but it's always nice to know how to assemble them or to have an, some general idea of how everything works so we can collaborate better with people whose actual profession is to work in Revit MEP or to use mechanical equipment. And before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. And if there are any Revit MEP specialists watching this tutorial, leave a comment in the comment section below of what do you think, have I done anything correctly or incorrectly in this tutorial. So here I am in Revit and I'm going to be starting off with a mechanical template, of course. And this is just a metric template. And first I'm going to set the units to meters for this one. Okay, okay. And now I'm just going to be linking a Revit project that was done in Revit architecture. This is how it usually works. An architect does a project and then that project is just linked to the MEP specialists. So I'm going to go here to insert link Revit, I'm going to go to desktop, find desktop, and here I'm just going to select this auto repair shop project that they have prepared for this, and I'm just going to open it up, and here it is, and it's kind of dark or it's basically half tone, so if you can't really see these lines very good, you can go here to the manage tab, open up additional settings, find half tone underlay settings, and we can change this to maybe 70 per 75 perhaps and for the weight let's do one and now we can kinda see everything a bit better and if I go into 3D this is basically what this project looks like so if I go here in level one and here you can see we have this HVAC which is basically for our heating ventilation and air conditioning and we also have a plumbing section over here so I'm just going to close this up because we don't need plumbing really and here I am in floor plan number one Mac and Mac basically means mechanical so we have this area over here which is basically for working with cars here are some garage doors and here we have an offset and a bathroom over here so we're going to be creating a system on this and if I go here to ceiling plan because everything will be done in the ceiling here you can see we have this ceiling plan and the ceiling is already placed in Revit architecture and the height of the ceiling is 4.8 meters but we can check that in south elevation and here we can kinda adjust everything so level 1 is at level 1 that's okay but level 2 over here is not at level 2 so I am just going to be using the align tool AL is the shortcut and I'm just going to align this and now we have our levels aligned and if I go here to wireframe you can see here we have our ceiling at 4.8 so to finish it off let's go now in ceiling plan and here you can see we have our ceiling we can see it now and let's start adding elements so first I'm going to go here to the systems tab and now for the first element I'm going to be using mechanical equipment or ME is the shortcut and now I can search for something and I'm going to be using this simple AVA, v, VAV sorry, unit and I'm going to choose perhaps this one with a 200 millimeter inlet and outlet. And as you can see, if we go and place it, we can't really see anything. That's because the offset is at zero. And this doesn't really place it on the ceiling. It kind of places it on the level on which is on. So if this is level one, we need to give it an offset. And let's try an offset of 5.2 meters because it needs to be above the ceiling. And now if I come in here, you can see now we can actually see our piece of mechanical equipment. So I'm kind of going to place it over here in the center. <coughs> and once this is placed, now we can start adding some air terminals. So we have this. So now I'm going to go here in air terminal or AT is the shortcut. And the thing is, we can't really see this air terminal as well. And this is, doesn't work really like lights as you would probably think because we're placing it on ceiling because unlike lights that are only connected by wires that can change elevations pretty easily when you're working with this 
these duct systems you can't really change these ducts that easily so they kind of stay in place so you need to give it an offset and the offset will be the height of the ceiling which is 4.8 meters and now we can see our system so I'm going to place one component over here and I'm just going to select it and these arrows we don't really need them so you go here and you turn off these arrows in the properties panel now I'm just going to go copy or CO and select multiple so I'm just going to do these ducts and these are basically outlet ducts and I'm going to place one here as well so kinda place them like that okay so once we have these ducts in place and our mechanical system now we can or basically these are outlets or air terminals now we can start doing the ducting so I'm just going to select this and I'm going to find this in over here and we have this in over here this is the create duct and create duct we have as well and as you can see these are crosses so these are outlets so they are crosses and inlets or basically where the air comes in are these or one side lines so I'm just going to click over here and we're adding a duct and we can change the duct so I'm just going to change it to a rectangular one and let's change this dimension to I don't know something like 300 for this one so I'm just going to do one here make a simple turn and go all the way to this one and I'm going to select it and extend it to the other side and go all the way to this one over here now I'm going to select these three and kinda move them using arrow keys kinda closer to the to this wall and this one can stay like that maybe bring this in a bit now because this is 300 and our ducts are 300 as well so we can just kind of continue this all straight so go here into duct make sure you're in this rectangular duct and you kind of create a turn over here you create one over here but as you can notice I'm not going directly to this air terminal I'm just stopping along the way so I'm going to do the same thing over here and then perhaps here we don't have to do that we can just extend this one okay so now we have to make a connection and as you can see if I try to make a connection like this I can't do it I can't really place the connection on this air terminal that wouldn't work we need a flex oops or wouldn't work as well so delete elements we need to place a flex duct I think that would work better so just go here flex duct and you connect from here to here and you go here again flex duct from here to here flex duct or FD is the shortcut so maybe is a shortcut and connect that as well and here as well and as you can see when everything is connected this is all blue so it lights up blue that's basically where the air comes in so now we need to do another series of these air terminals so just go to air terminal or AT and find here we have supply and here we have the return diffuser so I'm going to select one of these and again give it an offset of 4.8 turn off these arrows because we don't need them and let's place one over here so as you can see this has only one line running through it and this has two lines so now I can select this one and go copy or CO and I'm going to copy one over here one over here I want three of these for this area and one in this area okay so now I'm going to go back to my this central VAV unit and here I have this you can see this basically a rectangle with one line going through it so I can select it and now I can create this duct and as you can see this lights up pink because that's basically what happens with this return duct it's always pink and I can extend it maybe here and maybe align this it would work better and then I can Ex ex basically extend this in this direction and maybe move this up a bit perhaps like that move this as well to that yeah and now I can move this in line over here and now again I can select this and go create similar or just CS and then do these ducts over here and one here as well okay so once this is finished we need to go to flex duct select the center line here connect 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 this one and connect this one so once this is finished you can see all of this is light up in pink and now if we go into 3d we can see 
our whole system. And here if I go to fine. Now we have a bit of a problem here, but don't worry, it's an easy fix. If I zoom in here, you can see this is connected, but we can't really see this flex ducting. And it's the same for a couple of places. And how you fix that is basically you zoom in and you select this end point over here. You kind of move it in a bit till this appears. So it kind of doesn't have enough room to make a, I don't know, a, this flex part. I'm not really an expert in MEP, as you can probably notice. And here I'm just going to select this, move it in, and now we can see our flex duct appears. And do the same thing over here. And there you go. Okay, so this is pretty much it for this MEP tutorial. And please, if you're an MEP expert, please don't cringe at my knowledge of mechanical equipment. But that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.